Victory Point Gaming. Hello and welcome to Victory Point Gaming. Today, the developers of Ark Nova on Board Game Arena release some alternate maps for Ark Nova Play Online. These optional alternates allow players to change things up with the remixed versions of maps 1 to 8. Bear in mind that these are supposed to be remixes and are not intended to be full rebalances of the maps. Let's have a look. Number 1. Observation Tower Now, if you are used to the Ark Nova maps, take a deep breath. Everything is weird and it's only going to get weirder. In each case, I've put the new map on the left hand side and the existing old map on the right hand side. You will notice that the project bonuses here and here are the same, they are unchanged. Also, the location of the shields, so two for the fourth partner zoo and one for the third university, also unchanged. I can confirm that none of the remix maps have changed the project bonuses or the shield locations. The first glaring change here is that the tower is on the right. Aside from that, probably the biggest change is that the map is no longer dissected by a river, making building much more straightforward. Typically on this map, you want to build near the tower at the start, and now the five money bonuses are a bit farther away. The card draw near the tower is a little bit tougher to get to as well. Probable starting spots next to the tower or the reputation bonus. Number two, outdoor areas. The first thing that jumps out here is that it's now much more difficult to rush the partner on the floor. There is one few X bonus on the floor also. Courtesy of the rock in the middle of the map, it is now possible to have multiple rocky creatures next to the gate. Hooray! The new placement of the reputation bonus is now so far away from anything else. Sponsor for money bonus could still be used to rush handshake if you have a useful building shape. Probable starting spots here. It remains to be seen if handshake rush is still possible. If it is, it would still be strong. Left side card draw and rep is an okay way to go. And you can start next to the gate if needed. Number three, Silver Lake. The first thing that's immediately apparent is that the lake is now in the middle of the map. If you look closely, you'll notice that there's one fewer reputation bonus on the floor as well. Because of these things, the archeologist synergy has decreased substantially with this variant. The blocked building spots are in an extremely inconvenient place, which should slow down Silver Lake players a little. Probable starting spots, draw and or reputation. Number four, commercial harbor. For the first time in these remixes, there is no fundamental change in the map geometry. The bonuses have been swapped up a lot though. There is no five money bonus on the floor. There is one fewer X bonus. And there are now four, count them, four card draw bonuses. Once again, the reputation bonus is now far away from the map feature, in this case the harbour, which means there might be more early compromises that need to be made. It used to be the case that this map was one of the few maps where you could fit up to five size fives without an upgraded build. No longer the case with this remix. One neat thing about this new version is that it's possible to grab the times too early if you want to. The only problem is, where do you go from there? Probable starting spots next to the harbour and car draw unless you're desperate for the reputation. Number 5. Park Restaurants Funnily enough, the new park restaurant blocked building spots allow for at least 4 size 5s without upgraded build. It is otherwise a bit more inconvenient all round. You cannot now, for example, play a size 5 over the 5 money bonus, aiming for a first round release. One upside though, is that it's now easy to build your first enclosures near the restaurant. Probable starting spots bottom draw slash money if needed, otherwise top restaurant slash x slash rep. Number six, research institute. For the second time, there is no change in the map geometry here. The five money is now near the institute, facilitating interesting size four and size five creatures in the first round. The difficulty of guessing the university has not changed, but now the reputation is on the other side of the map. Probable starting spots. A size four or size five by the institute if needed, Otherwise, right side card draw uni rush. New strategy might be doing a uni rush from the top left reputation. Number seven, ice cream parlor. This remix wants us to work a little bit harder for the ice cream parlor value. The shortest route between the parlors is technically the same distance, but it's a bit more tricky to accomplish. The map keeps its two reputation bonuses, but they are further apart from one another. The addition of a water space on the left side of the map is very, very welcome. A sponsor for money start might now be possible. Something like a size 2 into baboon rock grabbing a kiosk and 5 money would be pretty decent. Probable starting spots. 
As usual, rush the parlours, start near the bonuses you need. And finally, map 8, Hollywood Hills. Likewise, the new rock at the top of the map alleviates the massive cramping you get when trying to accommodate rocky creatures on this map. An extra reputation placement bonus is also nice. The 5 money bonus is now really far away from everything else on the top left. This map has gone from mostly meh for archaeologists to pretty decent. Probable starting spots, H plus draw on the right hand side, rep and go downwards, or on the 5 money if you really need it. Thanks for watching, we'll be playing a whole lot of the new remix maps on stream, so check out the links in the comments. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon.